The Del Lobo Gang is an outlaw gang, appearing as minor antagonists in Red Dead Redemption 2, and as major antagonists in Red Dead Online. The Del Lobo Gang consists of mostly Mexican men who are outlaws, exiles, or opportunists. The dispute between Mexico and America has brought this gang to the town of Thieves Landing, which they use as their main base. Here, they steal, fight, and often kill people. Though the gang is mostly comprised of Mexicans, and seem to be in conflict with the U.S. government over long-standing tensions after the Mexican-American War, somewhat parallel to the Lemoyne Raiders, who are similarly at odds with the government over the Civil War, they appear to allow Americans into their ranks. American members can sometimes be seen throughout New Austin, alongside their Mexican counterparts. While their main base is the notorious Thieves Landing, they also operate out of Fort Mercer, a long-abandoned American military base in Rio Bravo, the village of Twin Rocks, the old mining settlement known as Gap Tooth Breach, and the abandoned farm of Solomon's Folly. The Del Lobo gang in several respects resembles the real-life Five Joaquins gang. Similarly, it was perceived to have been led by predominantly Mexico-born men who were family members. Throughout 1899 and 1907, the Del Lobos can be seen terrorizing New Austin with robberies and town raids, while facing very little resistance due to the cholera outbreak and subsequently a lack of law enforcement in the region. A newspaper article mentions how Del Lobos terrorize Valentine and Strawberry. While they can be seen assaulting Valentine in Red Dead Online during the story mission, bring a goddamn posse, members of the gang cannot be encountered near Strawberry. The Del Lobos are the most widespread gang featured in Red Dead Redemption 2 and online, as they appear to have a presence in all five states. They are most common in New Austin. A random conversation can be heard between Del Lobo members where some of them are thinking of heading back to Mexico and possibly working for the army, while some would opt to stay in the US. The group of Del Lobos that the player encounters east and south of Armadillo have custom handguns and rifles with gold-plated parts, ebony grips and expensive varnishes. The Del Lobos are the only group of NPCs in Red Dead Redemption 2 known to throw dynamite and fire bottles at the player. These weapons can also be looted from their corpses. The Del Lobo's method of breaking their leader, Cortez, out of the Rhodes jail is identical to the one used by Dutch van der Linde to free Arthur Morgan if he manages to get incarcerated there.